aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what's up, guys, and welcome to yet another news video from your truly the Skyrender. As today's video is gonna focus on the mega Pokemons that are not in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and you, I had no idea that we missed out on mega Pokemons this generation. And it has basically because all the items are still in the game, which kind of enforced that it's probably going to be available, but it looks like events might be the way to do it, and they're going to hold them off. And this is definitely going to hard shape the meta, because that means the smoke and tears for you guys are using that, me being one of them, uh, that a few Mega Pokemons are not in the calculation, which means we're going to have a much, much different meta, as of course this rest of the Mega Evolution is going to be, of course, introduced. Now, with that said, here's the list, of course, of the Mega Evolutions that's going to be available for this generation. So, the Mega Evolutions, of course, be available as Gengar's Mega Evolution, Sissor, Pinsir, Adactyl, Lucario, Kangaskhan, Eurydos, Zapsol, Alakazam, Garchomp, Sableye, Metagross, Sharpedo, Slowbro, Glalie, and Salamence. So, you know, the first feeling here, and quite honestly, is... The hell did they just bring the broken ones? The fuck just happened? So with that off my shoulder, um, one really has to take notice here. The both Gengar, Lucario and Salamanzite are items that have been banned from Smoke and Tears due to how overpowerful they are in singles. Clearly not the same in VGC and I think that's the reason. I really think these uh, Mega Evolutions are the most used Pokemon in VGC to some extent, and um, I, I, I guess I try to understand that this is what I'm going to do it, but at the same time it's a missed opportunity for of course bringing the lesser known variants, and even the one, you know, clearly Mega Odino broken as all hell, so clearly that had to go. <laughs> but yeah, there are a lot of Pokemons missing, and um, the meta is going to definitely be, you know, developed with that in mind that we are missing Pokemons that are viable and uh, I can see it as a positive standpoint too and there is when we start off the smoke and tears and you know we start to develop there are going to be Pokemon's yet to be introduced that are yet to showcase how powerful they are in this environment so having that said we're gonna go over of course the Pokemon that are missing uh, so you guys get a feeling for which one that you guys gonna miss so the quick rundown is Venusaur, both former Charizard, Blastoise, Beedrill, Pidgeot, both former Mewtwo Mega Ampharos, Steelix, Heracross, Houndoom, Tyranitar, the starters from Hoenn, of course, Sceptile, Blaziken, Swampert, God of War is Gone, Moal, Agron, Medisham, Manitric, Camerupt, Altaria, oh that's gonna suck really, Bayonet, the Latte Twins, I lost their Mega 4, Mega Rayquaza, that, that's kinda good I guess, Lopunny, Obama Snow, Gallade, Odino, and of course my baby, my Neptune, Mega Dayinji is also gone. So there are quite a few here which actually are mattering quite a lot for quite, well, quite honestly, a lot of people. Now, I myself, of course, feel that, you know, the, the over abundance here is, of course, that we actually are missing out on Pokemon that actually will be a lot better with, of course, the new function of Mega Evolution, having their speed creep, of course, first turn, let's say, evolves. So missing out on that truly, truly sucks. I think we're missing out um, on 29 Pokemon or 33 different forms, which is actually quite a lot. It's over half, of course. I, I do believe we get access to one third of all the Mega Evolution, while of course three being busted. And um, I do believe the meta is going to form after that. And like I said here, it is with a bit of an optimistic view I'm going in there. I'm, I'm clearly missing the energy. I'm clearly thinking that Mon needed to showcase how good it really is and you know i'll have to wait that's 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 making a bit sad I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that but outside of that i definitely see how this could be a good thing with of course the meta even further developing and i also like i said here could see the reason for it as of this meta the vgc is not gonna have any mega evolutions in this game which kind of enforces the point that you know what do you want to use in in the game if you couldn't use the Mega Pokemon because they're kind of busted in the main game so I can see that you know being a reason for it but quite honestly I have no idea what you're thinking but most likely these Pokemon that are missing is gonna be available of course in events and stuff like that it's actually clearly very likely since the items themselves are a part of the game 
and it would be no reason not to use them. But yeah, I mean, going about it and just watching it black and white as it is, this is this is this is tough to kind of soak because we're missing so many Pokemon and so many Pokemon here that are not necessarily broken in any fashion of the way. Mega Steelix is definitely not scaring anybody. So seeing that they took away Pokemon that are weaker to some extent, you know, keep Lely, you know, that's that's gonna do stuff, but it's it still is perplexes me. But I'm I'm making this update more to kinda wake the idea for you guys that this is what's going down and keep this in mind when you build your teams because hell, we don't we never know when we get access to actually of course build a team again like this. So with all that said guys, C moves is the way to go for. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate this update and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.